Well, all I can say is, honey, I shrunk the train. <laughs> In case you haven't seen the CK Holiday lately, it's because it is right here. I shrunk it into a miniature-sized model inside this box. Okay, I'm just kidding. This this is actually a train that I got at Disneyland. I think it was in the Disney India store for, well, I'm not going to say how much, but it was really expensive. I don't think they're selling this anymore. I wish they brought out this, the uh, the EP Ripley and the other trains in this miniature size, but so far it's only been this one. But I know they brought out a larger version of the Ward Kimball, but that was like over 300 bucks. Yikes. So I got this one instead. It was like half the price. Literally. Hey guys, how's it going? Chanel here. Yes, I am back with another update from Disneyland. Obviously, as you already know, we got the updates about the um, attraction. Uh, what was it? Oh gosh, I can't even remember its name. The Tower of Terror is going to be closing in January of 2017. I didn't mention about that in the first video because, uh, you know, it, I just didn't have the information at the time. But it's going to be around July, or excuse me, January 10th or somewhere near the beginning of January of 2017. It's going to be closing for. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction, and I actually had a little bit of more information about it because apparently their contract with the group that does the Twilight Zone ended, so that's why they're um, closing the attraction, which, you know, once a contract ends, that's usually the sign that either an attraction or somebody's going to go and it's not coming back, unfortunately. Now, whether or not that's going to apply to any of the other Tower of Terrors, I do not know that for a fact. It's quite possible that Walt Disney Worlds will be safe. It probably won't turn into Guardians of the Galaxy because they're in Florida. They can't really make any Marvel-related attractions there in Walt Disney World because of Universal Orlando, but I really don't know. But as of right now, the only information I do know is that the Tower of Terror here in California will be changed into the... It's like a storage cell for uh, like one of the characters of Guardians of the Galaxy. And it will be a type of elevator ride, which, you know... I, mm. <laughs> it's going to be like a drop elevator ride. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be actually interested in checking out that attraction. But we'll see. Uh, but supposedly this is going to be the first of maybe a few, but possibly even a whole new land in Disney California Adventure relating to Marvel. Um, which... I'm kind of guessing that since they're turning Guardians of the Galaxy into an attraction, I'm betting at some point here we might, I do not know this for a fact, I'm not going to try to start a rumor, but we might see the end of maybe A Bug's Land, because A Bug's Land, as some of you are aware, gets a very low turnout. Like, I've looked at the apps numerous times, and it usually has around a five minute wait. Um, on a lot of those attractions. So I don't know if a Bugs Land is on the axe, you know, like getting axed off and turned into a small version of Marvel headquarters or whatever, but I do not know that for a fact. It's just that a Bugs Land doesn't seem to be getting as much attention as it usually is supposed to, but I don't know. Um, so supposedly, maybe the theater might be turned into something, the Hyperon Theater, where Frozen is right now. Maybe, I do not know, but as of right now, the only attraction that is doomed to be turned into a Marvel attraction is Tower of Terror. Other than that, that's all I know. Plus, we have the character interactions with Captain America and Spider-Man. Supposedly, we might get Thor when the third Thor film comes out. I really liked the Marvel uh, Superhero Headquarters because it was convenience you know for Disneyland and you know you got, you got to meet the characters but I guess it wasn't getting as much attention as Disney wanted so they had to close it down and they're now going to make it into a, another portion of uh, the Star Wars uh, uh, Star Wars launch bay which I think if I don't, I don't know if this is correct it might be turned into a Rogue One area because we got Rogue One coming up soon here and the only stuff that's down in the first level of the Star Wars launch bay is strictly stuff from the previous Star Wars films and this uh, the, the Force Awakens. So my guess is that maybe on the second floor we might be getting maybe a character interaction with some of the characters from Rogue One and maybe a Rogue One like gallery or something up there. I do not know that for a fact. I'm just spreading rumors but that's what I'm guessing and I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people will be guessing. Uh, and then maybe next year they'll bring out Star Wars 8 and they'll have stuff for Star Wars 8 up there. So we'll see. I don't really know that for a fact, but that, I'm just throwing out my guesses. But you know what? I'm really losing track of what this video is supposed to be about, and that is the Disneyland Railroad. I am pleased to announce that Disney has officially 
given a time as to when the Disneyland Railroad and Rivers of America will be back up in operation, and that will be in the summer of 2017. That's right. It's going to be back in the summer of next year. And why isn't it sooner? I want to open now, right? Well, things take time because they haven't completely finished building the rest of the railroad. And the new first left turn for the Disneyland Railroad. And the river's still basically dirt right now. <laughs> but yes, the Disneyland Railroad and Rivers of America. And basically, the Mark Twain, the Columbia, the... Um, Davy Crockett River Canoes and Tom Sawyer, a.k.a. Pirate's Lair, will be back in operation in 2017 in the summertime. Um, which is going to be a fun time for a lot of people because that will be a great way to get around, you know, the, the different portions of the theme park. Um, they may actually be ahead of schedule in terms of Star Wars Land. I do, not, I do not know that for a fact, but supposedly Star Wars Land will be here in 2019. I do not know. That's pretty far away from now, but we will see. But... Uh, since the railroad is going to be open in 2017 of next year, uh, that doesn't mean if Star Wars Land is going to be, you know, opening early or not. Supposedly it'll be opening in 2019, but we'll see. Probably summer of 2019 is what I'm guessing with Star Wars Land. But uh, again, I I'm just throwing out guesses. I'm not saying this is the official dates, but I don't have the official dates for the Disneyland Railroad. But it will be open in the summer of. 2017 so there you go you guys that's your little update video i know this is my second video for today but i'm going to try to keep you guys updated as to what's going on with the parks whenever i get information now if i have to upload two videos a day that's what i will do and that's it all right guys i will see you guys next time here on the disneyland video series and i hope that i just messed that one up <laughs> i'll see you guys next time here on the disneyland video series if you have not subscribed please do so also if you guys are big fans of my channel you'll be pleased to know that my p.o box is open so if you guys want to send me mail please do so it is right now open it's been open for a week now so if you want to send me mail please do so the uh, the address for the P.O. Box is down below in the description of this video. If you haven't seen it, check the Show More button, and you'll see all of my links from my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram. Any, everything you wanted there is down there in the description. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope your day was a magical one. Bye-bye!